I am 26, and I live in Brooklyn, New York, and um, I am a ginger. <laughs> and, um, I'm also transgendered or transmasculine and non-binary. Like for you, what are what are some important parts of your identity? I would say being transmasculine mm-hmm. is like a huge, like very important to me right now because I denied it for most of my life. And mm-hmm. um, up until recently, like three years ago, I don't know, at this point, I like really started to accept it. And I've had to go through so much to just, be at a place where I'm like, okay, I'm actually okay with this and I'm going to be okay. I'm okay alone being transgendered. Mm. Like I'm okay. I can breathe. Like I can actually physically transition now and I'm still okay. And oh, wow. Like I actually have support. I wasn't expecting that, you know, Mm, like, mm -hmm. it's like, and I've got a trans woman wrote this. She said, I'm not, I wasn't born. No, sorry. She said, I am not a woman trapped in a man's body i'm a woman trapped in a world that's policing me to stay in a body that makes me uncomfortable Hmm. and i really related to that because i have never felt like i was born in the wrong body and i Hmm. don't feel like a man trapped in a female body like none of that feels right it just like for me it just feels like um i just need to make a little a couple of edits, I guess, or, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I just, that whole, that whole notion for me just doesn't sit right. And I know a lot of other trans people find that offensive. It's like, it's not our bodies that are policing us. It's everyone around us. Yeah. Ideally, um, I had an appointment like four months ago with my doctor, my primary care doctor. And I talked to her about all my concerns with tea and she's an amazing doctor and she like basically squashed all my fears and just like normalized it and Mm. I was like okay I actually think I'm ready like after so long of like watching videos like Mm -hmm. truly since I was in high school you know like watching videos and reading and asking trans guys how it is like I finally was like fuck I'm gonna do it and I like called my mom and my mom cried she was so happy and support like in a good way she was like happy crying supportive Mm -hmm. and then I like went over to my friend's house for dinner and I wait till waited till they were all there and I was like guys I'm gonna start tea and one of my best friends Paige like literally jumped out of her chair Mm -hmm. with excitement and came over and just held me for a really long time and she's like you've been wanting to do this I'm so happy and proud of you we're gonna throw you a party (laughs) and then they did they threw me a tea party they like made tea sandwiches and everyone wore trans colors it was great Um, wow yeah and to just like feel that outpouring of like love and support you know from something that you kind of have maybe struggled with for a while and to just have those times kinds of responses is amazing yeah yeah I'm very lucky